Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft. My goodness, it has been a, it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video at all. Um, let alone Minecraft. But we're back and we are on 1.14.4. There there is a dolphin in here somewhere I saw it. There's a dolphin in my kill farm. I know I saw it, maybe it's jumped out and jumped in elsewhere, or jumped outside, I don't know. Um, let's just see how we're doing. Make a few extra kelp blocks. I had to check what I'd last done, I, I was pretty sure that it was the uh, lottery machine, but yeah, it really has been a while, hasn't it? I hear you, Dolphin. There you are. Hello. That's not where you're supposed to be. So I came over here to check on how many name tags I've got because someone needed name tags. So I was like, I don't sell these. I don't think anyone else sells them. Maybe I could sell them. I've only got a few stacks, so probably not. But uh, while I was over here, you see, <sighs> the new brown mushroom texture it's not that it's not a nice texture, but it's too plain. I mean, I'm using Faithful, but it's based on the new textures. And it's just, it just makes it plain brown. I mean, this I'm not saying this doesn't look nice, but it is, it's become just another brown block. But yeah, I came over here and um, I saw this. And I heard this. Oh, good grief. How many, how many chickens did you put in here, Wolfram? Five, five, five. Five hundred. Five. Oh my god, they're all climbing up the ladder as well. And the trap doors are open so they'll all be on the roof. How are there no chickens out here? Is he taking out the trap doors off the floor? But I heard them clicking. I'm not opening the door. I am not opening the door. Ow, that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Just, you just climb and jump in? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. At least we're gonna have plenty of chicken. Oh, so many chickens. He's moved the pressure plates. Clever. Are you the last one? I think you are the last one. Good grief. I might keep you. Wait. Yeah, still just the one. Oh my god, there's so much. I'm going to clean all this up. So having decided I would keep this last chicken, I had to fence them into a corner and obviously name them. And then I decided what to do with the armor stands and I thought, you know what, I'll keep this as well. So I then had to spend a little bit of time just moving it into place using the new armor stand block. I mean, the old one would have worked just the same, but we have the new one, which has a lot more features in it. And so I've just moved him into the corner 
just to sit in the window. So they're staying as a remnant, as a reminder of the prank of many, many chickens. I remember what I did at the last of the, uh, per. I remember what I did at the end of the last episode. After the outro, I had a clip of me bringing some sheep over in a boat. Well, those sheep are somewhere in here, amongst their many progeny, because of course the golf course is back with the same original holes. Um, slightly modified with new 113 <laughs> new with 113 mechanics that are no longer new because we're on 114. But uh, yeah, I think this skipped a world, didn't it? I didn't do it last world. But these holes are all basically the same. And uh, peepholes is back, and hopefully. I'm going to get people to uh, actually build holes for it this time. I did have an idea for a sixth hole. Mm, now I'm forgetting what it was, which is annoying. But I was also thinking I would leave that until someone else has built one first. Oh no, what was it? I'm going to be really annoyed if I can't remember that now, because it was a pretty cool idea, whatever it was. Hmm. Oh, I've got it. I know what it is. I, I made a prototype of it in a test world. It's fine. I've got it. It's there. It exists. No worries. Um, so yeah, the golf course is back. And since we haven't reset the world before coming on to 114, which there was some debate about, we're probably still going to do a reset at some point in the foreseeable future. But for now, we are still on the same world, and so I am hoping that more minigames will be built. I mean, Wolfram's still got... Oh, he's, uh... He's added some challenge rings to the course. That's pretty cool. Has anyone played the lottery? Let's have a look. What have we got? Uh, how much did I put in there originally? There's no way people have paid 60 diamonds. I think I put two stacks in originally. Ah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, I don't really have um, a firm plan for this episode. Um, I might do the furnace array. I might do a cow cooker. Because it's about time I had um, like sustainable food. I've been manually killing mushrooms up till now. Quite a lot of screamy guests around at the moment. Quiet. I still have mixed opinions on the new textures. I mean, obviously the faithful versions of them are nice because faithful always is, apart from that time they did Scaly Diorite. That was bad. That was so bad. Um, I mean, most of the new textures in default, not in faithful, I'm like fairly ambivalent about. Um, the Mossy Cobble is nice, that's not where I want to go. Mossy Cobble is very nice. Um, because it's softer. Is this the right tunnel? There's actually been a tunnel built. Uh, I think it is, yeah. Shopping area. Huh, someone actually made a tunnel. Don't know who. It's fairly nice, whoever did it. Um, But yeah, the mossy cobble is very nice because the green is a lot softer. Diorite. See, this is, uh, although, hang on. Uh, I need to turn off that. Oh, that loads a lot faster. See, that's all right. That looks fine. That's nice. The scaly one they had in 113, that was bad. Um, 
So when I do the next version of the Slip Gator pack, it's going to be um, I'll probably take out the custom diorite because we don't need to override it anymore. That's bothering me, that it's all at the bottom of the chest. I came over here to see how much Wolf is selling kelp blocks for. Five diamonds a chest. Ooh, that's a lot cheaper than I was expecting. I was like, oh, I'll undercut that easily. Um. I mean, while he's got no stock, I don't have to undercut, because I'll be the only one selling it, but... Five diamonds a chest, there are 27. So that's, let's see... 27 stacks... Divided by five diamonds is 345 kelp blocks per diamond. It's five and a half stacks almost. So I would need to do six stacks for a diamond to undercut. I think I can do that. Six stacks for a diamond, seems reasonable. So, do, 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 do. one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I need to bring another kelp block along to put in the item frame. Whoops. I've dug a hole. It's a big hole. It's 42 wide. It's 47 long. I will probably make it shorter than that in the end. Um, and I've got some ice and furnaces and stuff in it. So I'm going to do Iskal 85's design. Um, it uses bamboo for the fuel. So in a way, although I built that primarily to fuel furnaces, I'm not going to use it for that at all. Um, but then on the other hand, that means it's just as well that I didn't build this before 1.14. Um, I have checked in a test world. Zero tick farms do work on spigot. They can be a bit tetchy, but they work. Um, so here we have 64 furnaces. It's a 64 furnace array. Madness. And then the farms for the bamboo go here and there. I think I'm going to have a glass roof over this. Um, there'll be little structures rising out of the ground at the back for the bamboo farms. Probably at the front here. Uh, the input chest goes about there, and the output chest nominally goes there, but I'll probably pull it back a bit and have it sort of there. So this probably won't actually be this close to the back. But I've pushed this as far back as I could. Um, it fits really quite nicely in the space, actually. Uh, so there's a block here, so I can do a trim around this without cutting right to the edge here. So it just fits snugly in this space, it's really nice. And uh, I'm probably not going to do a lot in the way of progress updates on this, because it's going to take me a while to gather the redstone resources. I'm probably going to have to go mining for more redstone. Um, in fact, I would say almost certainly. But uh, yeah, so Iskal 85 is the design I'm going with, and there will of course be a link to that in the description. It's all starting to come together. In the tutorial, Iskal said to take a breather at this point, so this is where I stopped last night. Um, we have got uh, probably... I mean, we're most of the way there. We're like two thirds, three quarters done, I think. If not more. Thank you, Windows notification. Um, so the hopper minecarts will go here to distribute the items. And we've got the streams here for the fuel, which go into lava so we don't get a load of entities lying around if it overflows. Uh, when that hopper's full, there'll be a readout in this comparator, which is going to presumably lead all the way up here to turn these off. These are the zero tick farms for the bamboo, or the bases off them. So if I just hop down here... Whoops. 
you can see what it's starting to do. Um, it uses Rails because that's better for the server performance than Redstone, I believe. And same on that side. So yes, yeah, it's, it's coming along, it's nearly there. And we're done. That is everything. These are wired in. When this hopper is full, that will be a full signal. So it'll override this, feed into there, go all the way along there, and toggle the torch there to switch these off. And the excess goes into the lava overflow. These are very loud, but they are working. I really, honestly, I wasn't expecting Zero Tick to work on Spigot. It's one of those things you think, yeah, Spigot will break this, but uh, no, it works. It works beautifully. So these are all filling up. Where are we up to? Oh, uh, yes. That's getting some in it. That's nearly full. There we go. And you should fill up pretty quickly. So we're about a th two fifths of the way done. It should take about five to ten minutes to fill up completely. And uh, then it'll shut off and be ready to be used. This is also, I've still got to decorate the damn thing. Um, but I mean, as you can see, the performance. My frames take a bit of a hit over here. But over here. Well, I'm locked to 60 because I'm recording. Um, over here I'm probably fine. And that lag is pretty much all client side, not server side, so this has no real detrimental effect on the server. So that's awesome. And yeah, I'm just going to leave this thing to fill up, probably start work on deciding how I want to decorate it. Also how I want the output to work. Uh, I don't think an item elevator is the best idea because then it's still got to go into, hmm, I mean whatever happens it's going to go into hoppers and hopper pickup speed. This thing outputs very quickly because you get like, I mean you're basically going to get what, hopper speed going into the droppers and the droppers firing, there's eight droppers so you're going to get eight times hopper speed coming out of this thing in, in principle. I don't know. I'll probably just do a little room underneath that's accessible from the surface with little staircases or something for the output. I'll see. Right, so I think I've more or less decided what I'm doing with this. Um, I'm going to have flat glass here, probably brown. Might not be brown, but probably brown, because brown is the glass theme I've generally gone with. The interior of this is all white glass, but that doesn't mean this has to be. Um, I moved these redstone blocks forward a block because I could and still power that, but then it's not touching the edge there. Um, and then there'll be another building over the top of this. Eventually, I'll probably replace all these walls with stone bricks. And over here, there'll be a building that'll have a wall here, so this part will be completely concealed. And there'll just be a doorway like here. And I didn't go with stairs, because who uses stairs nowadays when you've got bubble columns? And just got a little room down here, which is where the output goes. And then I can just get through into here, like that. So it's all done. It's all functional as far as I can tell. It's time for a test run, because I need a lot of glass for this. I mean, just this area here is going to take that much glass. Um, so let's uh, there we go, they fire up because fuel has been used and it's dispensing already. How many of these furnaces are firing? All of them! It's amazing.
How quickly is it coming in? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. What do we got? Half a stack there, half a stack there, a bit there. Let's just see how long it takes to do eight stacks of items. Well, there's most of two stacks, there's three stacks, three and a half stacks. Four, five stacks, six stacks, six and a half stacks already, ish. That's probably hit. I think it's done. I can hear fuel going into the lava, which means it's done. It's finished eight stacks of items in how long was that? Look at that. I'll have, I'll have put a timer on the screen or something, so I'll be able, you'll know how long that took. But that's, that is fast. 64 furnaces. That's magnificent. So as I say, it's Iscalatify, it's designed for the furnace array combined with Il Mango's um, Zero Tick Farm for the bamboo at the back. And I will have a link to Iscal's tutorial in the description. Let's just go over here and uh, check on my kelp, because that would have been harvesting while I've been working. Let's just see how much I've got, just to end on, because I'm selling this stuff now. That's full. That's full. That's full. Can't even reach up there. That's a lot of kelp. Anyway. That's going to be it for this episode, if... Huh. Optifine capes now show up on Elytra. That's really cool, that's new as far as I know. Really cool. That's so cool. Anyway, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, share a favourite and comment, help support the channel. Follow me on Twitter to stay up to date what's going on. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Oh, forgot that one's done it. And then what is he building over here? Huh. See you next time.